Euro spill. We have Dave Blunts in the fucking building. Come on. How's it going, man? We have Dave Blunts in the fucking building, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode two of Real Spill. Uh, today, me and Dave Blunts are doing a paint and sip. And today, Dave Blunts, what I haven't told you is what we are going to be painting. I have no idea what Julian looks like. <laughs> You, uh, I, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing we should paint Julian and Abigail, and you can choose which one that you want to paint. Uh, I'll choose Julian. I'll All let right, you paint Abigail. I'll be painting Abigail today. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Holy shit, bro! This is, <laughs> this is Jesus. actually, I feel like the best idea I've ever had in my entire life. Um, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good idea. <laughs> this is, this is great. I'm gonna just pull up chat on my phone, and we're just gonna get right into it, man. All right, hell yeah. Um, but. You know, I think right now, tell us, man, how has your experience been out in L.A. so far? It's been pretty crazy, man. Long you're, guess. You're, you're, not, you're not from around here. You're from, you're from different parts, apparently. Yeah, I'm from, from Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, it's the middle of nowhere. Ain't shit really going on out there. I think I know a lot about the middle of nowhere, but please enlighten us more. <laughs> and enlighten us more about what, what growing up in Iowa is like, because you, you, would, you would think about it in a sense of if you ask, like, yo, could you point out Iowa on a map to anybody? Nobody is, nobody's doing that. I mean, shit, bro. Ain't really a lot going on. I mean, I, I can cuss on here? Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. So, I mean, shit. Ain't, ain't really nothing but bitches fucking and <laughs> drugs and i mean hey man there's not really a whole lot to do in a small town except I, fuck yeah, yeah, and I, drugs I, I feel like so I, it's I, like i feel like that's the same thing with it's a lot of fucking and a lot of drugs lot going of on man a lot of meth a lot, lot of, of fucking a lot of meth and a lot of sex fucking yeah i'm glad bro that is that is definitely what america's here for uh but it was cool man you know i just was hanging with my friends chilling going to parties uh yeah Shit like that, bro. I'm wow. I mean, there's so many stories. I feel like with uh, with with you, with Jesse, with all the characters from Iowa. Yeah, definitely Jesse Jones. Shout Jesse out to Jesse Jones. Jones man. Man. Shout out Jesse Jones. Man. Yeah, Jesse <laughs> Jones. Shout out Jesse Jones. It's a character. Man. That man. Whew. Golly. <laughs> but all right, bro. Let's really get into it, man. I, I got a couple questions for you here. All right, let's hear. Let's so let's hear, it, man. So let's get right before we start uh, becoming Picasso here. Okay. Um. So, Mr. Blunts. Yeah. Let's get into the, the topics of what's been going on recently. Because okay. we're having a you're having a moment right now with this uh with this freestyle that you did on, on the radar. It's it's all right, yeah. People are fucking with it, man. So I mean, how was it meeting G Easy? I feel like that was a <laughs> that was an experience. That, that shit was that shit was just random as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like I'm in the middle of doing my performance. I'm like, you know. I'm singing and I'm like, think about Madison. Oh shit, that's G Easy. Right there. Like that's fucking G Easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like I, I'm not a, guy. I'm not like a G Easy fan or anything. You know what I mean, I'm saying? I don't listen to his music or nothing like that. But it's just like it was like out of all the people to walk up that stairs, bro. I wouldn't expect a G Easy. Gerald looking you dead in your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that one. That <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah but no, nah, it was crazy. He's cool as hell. We dapped up, took a picture. He told me he fucked with my shit. Keep going crazy. And hell yeah, man. So who else has been who else has been tapped in? Because I feel like I feel like right now you've been you've been on my for you page in every single every single facet of uh, social media. You've just been all up all up in my shit. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whew. Pause. Um, um, but yeah, no. I mean, a bunch of people been tapping in, bro. I mean, the top of the top. Top of the top. The top of the top. Could, for real. Like we, I got some. Any names? I got some shit coming. Uh. I don't know if I really want to, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, clout chase or anything or, you know, uh, ruin any, uh, I don't know if these people want this shit out there, but just know I'm plugged in with the top hey, of the top. Real spell. Real spell. Oh my God, man. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm so, I'm so proud, honestly. That's, that is a, uh, that is a very, this shit is crazy, very uh, exciting moment when you have something and a lot of people are supporting it. So, Hell yeah, bro. This hella shit proud is, of you, shit is crazy. Proud Thank of you, man. I appreciate that, man. Um, so there was a lot of, a lot of things that you've said in these freestyles, a lot of things that you've said in these songs. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people are really grasping the fact that this is your real life that you're talking about. It, it is my real life, you know, and it's it sounds, you know, funny or a joke, but a lot of funny and crazy shit happens to me. And, you know, it's my real life that I'm putting in this music, bro. So 
I mean, it sounds unbelievable, but I mean, this shit happens. Yeah, no. is, I, you I'm know, hundred percent. Everybody in my hometown is just like they already they're behind me because they know this shit is real. Yeah, you know? they, no, seen all this hey, shit. Hey, shout out, out hey, come on, shout out Moline, man. Oh no, no, I'm not from Moline. I'm not from Moline. Oh, you're not from Moline. No, 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 Moline. So. I stay in Iowa, right? I, uh -huh. I stay on the border of Iowa and Illinois. Oh, okay. And so when you go across the bridge, you're in Moline, Illinois. Oh, okay. So I used to be like, I used to go to parties over there, spend hella time over mm. there. And my mom would be like, don't go over there mm. because you're in a whole different state. Yes. But I would still do that shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, good, man. Wow. That shit is crazy, man. So <laughs> having it be your real life. I feel like yeah. a lot of things besides the lore and the characters that we know, we're meeting Julian, we're meeting 2-3, we're meeting Jace. We'll, we'll explain those later on. Yeah. But um, my question is, I mean, for the real things that go around, uh, talk to me about recording in the hospital bed. How, how, was, that, how was that experience? Could you give us some insight about? Uh, the, yeah, the man. That, I mean, that shit was just fucking crazy, bro. You know, I don't uh, really want to go into the the full reason why I was there, but I will say that that shit was really fucking serious, bro. Like, I had to learn how to fucking walk again, bro. I had a fucking catheter. That shit hurt, bro. You ever had a catheter, bro? Fuck no. I, bro, that was, that like... Was actually, one of my biggest fears of all time. Bro, so, like... having a catheter. Bro, so I'm in, I'm in the hospital, right, when I first get there, bro. I get there, they're just fucking ripping my clothes off, like, ripping that shit. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm confused. Like, I'm incoherent yeah. and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know if I'm getting, like, getting ready to get violated or some shit, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. And then they're like, oh, we're going to need to put a catheter. And I'm like, catheter? Did you, did you know what a catheter was at that point? <laughs> yeah, I knew what a catheter was. That's how I was scared of that shit. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, bro. So, they... The lady tried to put the catheter in. I'm like, no, get off me. Like, get off me. Bro. <laughs> they had to, bro, they had to call it like eight people in there. Uh -huh. Eight people to hold me down. Because uh -huh. I'm, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. I mean, who wouldn't? Like a newborn baby. Uh -huh. And like eight people to hold me down, man. And you know what's funny? Uh, <laughs> the lady who was like trying to calm me down, uh -huh. uh, she introduced herself. She's like, hey, my name is Madison. I'm like, oh, bro. Wow. Come on, bro, like dead ass. Her name was Madison. I'm like, bro, what the f like oh, this shit makes it even worse. That's like insane. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that bitch just keeps popping up everywhere. Yeah, bro, she doesn't leave you alone. Yeah, like, like the name way. just keeps bro. When I it went to New York, you. I stayed in a hotel called the Madison Less Hotel. Wow. Like her name just keeps popping She's up like a, you, like a fucking Easter egg, bro. <laughs> the Madison Easter egg. You can't bro. escape it, bro. Jesus, man, that is that's just crazy. I think honestly, one of my biggest fears is, is getting a catheter. Getting yeah, bro, and like in, in, when I had that shit in, mm -hmm. the doctors wasn't acting as if I had a catheter in. Oh. Like they was like fucking with it, yanking it, oh playing my. jump rope with it and shit, <laughs> like tripping over. Oh, sorry. I'm like, damn, this is connected to a person. You know, I have a body. Like this is you're connected to me. You can't just fuck around and like. Yo, yeah, man, that shit was jump crazy. Jump rope is actually the craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire. But yeah, so I'm in the hospital, and I was in there for like ten days. I've been in. Yeah. I like that was just one of the times I was in the hospital. Over the past few years, I've been in there a bunch of times, but the last time was the most severe. And so I was in there for ten days, and like the third day, I told my mom, "I'm like, yo, can you bring my studio equipment?" To the hospital. Mm. And, you know, I don't want to disrespect my mom, but she's fucking dumb. So, like, bro, like, she she brought the wrong equipment, like, two times. And I had to, like, say, okay, this isn't the correct <laughs> shit that I need. Please bring the shit that I need. Like, this is important. So, she finally got it right on the third time, man. And, you know, my mom, you know, she's elderly, bro. She can't really, like, walk too right. good and shit. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm like, yo, like, I need this shit. Like, please. Mm. So, yeah, she, she brought that shit up there. She finally got it correct. And, uh, yeah, I was in there cooking up music, bro, the whole time I was, I was in there while I was learning how to walk and shit. Like, there would be machines going off and beeping while I'm recording and shit. That's that hard. shit was annoying. That's honestly the hardest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, bro, like, I was in there cooking up. Recording bro. in the hospital, fuck yeah. all the other patients, you know, you don't care. About <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just they kept coming in while I'm making songs and shit. Yeah, and uh, motherfuckers yeah. pulling on your catheter while you're trying to make music. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Getting the sponge bath while recording. That's hard. No, I didn't do that, but I wish I did. Uh, you could say it. No, I, I feel like I would believe you at this point. <laughs> no. Um, so I feel like you know to clear up some other stuff. I mean, like 
we've been over the lore and we've talked about the characters inside of your music. So everybody is questioning well, who is this Jace and why is there why is there a long like, who is this two three why is there such a long beef who why is he broke why does he have no money what is going on all right so tell I'm us, not gonna go full all. into into all that because I, I I have a plan for all that but I will go into Jace I will forever speak on that bitch yeah. can I say the n word yeah. okay I will forever speak on that bitch ass nigga until the day that I until the day that I die so. Mm. Jace, hey, let's, right? Let's just clarify real quick that this is not the rapper Jace, correct? Not the rapper Jace. Not no, no. Rapper I, Jace. I don't have any beef with the rapper yeah, Jace. No, um, just in case. All right. So let me get real settled in. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Before I tell this shit. Okay. So Jace. Jace. I play Fortnite. Mm. Right? I play that shit. That's what I like to do, bro. I yep. enjoy playing Fortnite, man. Not Fortnite. You know, I play Fortnite a lot. It's what I like to do to wind down. It's what I like to do to just chill out. You know what I'm bro, saying? Bro, still. <laughs> Fuck around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, crank some 90s and shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm good at it. I'm pretty good at Fortnite, Eric. Never do that. Mm -hmm. I'm a good Fortnite player. I believe you. So, one day, I'm playing Fortnite, and I have this, like, four-year-long feud slash uh, friend-to-me beef uh -huh. with, this, with these two niggas named Jordan and Luca. Jordan and Luca. Luca comes to me, and he, he tells me to get on the game mm. because, like, he's like, yo, this dude's talking shit. I need your help. Please help me. Yep. And so oh, I get on there. For the tag team. He was like, yeah. yeah, that's what I do. I, I, I be on the game talking shit. I'm roasting the fuck out of niggas. Like, I, I'm like 1v20 all the time, all day. I would never want to get in a Fortnite lobby with you, dude. <laughs> so he gets on there and he's like, yo, I need your help. So I go in there. I roast the shit out of this dude. Yeah. And they, they all work together. So they go back to their job. And they're like, yo, this dude just roasted the fuck out of like, he roasted the fuck out of him. And then his friend, the kid that I roasted, mm. His name, his friend's name was Jace. And they was like, let me see a picture of this dude. They show him a picture of me. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, shit, like, that's an easy target. I can easily get on his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they come back to, and report to me next time we're on the game. They're like, yo, this dude, Jace, that we work with, he's, he wants to roast the fuck out of you, bro. He say, he's saying he's going to, like, roast the fuck out of you really bad. And at this time, bro, you know, I realized that. Little the, did he know. Yeah. Little did he know. At this time, it was a transitional period in my life, you uh -huh. know. I was really trying to change the way that I speak because I realized at a young age on some great power comes great responsibility shit. Yes, sir. That the best thing about me is my words. Mm. I'm able to make somebody feel happy, make them feel sad, make them like my, you know, they listen to my music, they like it. So I know that I got to use that shit for good, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm talking hella shit on the game. I need to chill. I used to say wild ass shit on there, bro. Like I would say the most craziest shit. Shit that would get you banned on Twitch if yeah, I hey, repeat man, it. But, hey, we're uh, but yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, for now. but uh, so, so yeah, man. Uh, damn, I lost my train of thought. No, okay, yeah, I got you. I got Talking you. So, Talking shit on the game. Yeah. So I say, hey, man, mm. I don't want to do this with him. Mm -hmm. You guys, we've been playing the game for four years together. Yep. Y'all know what I do. Please tell him that I do not want to do this. They're like, okay. They go to tell him. He's like, nah, fuck that. I'm still getting on his ass. Mm. So then I say, hey, man, like, please tell him again. And they go back and tell him. And then he's like, no, nah, I'm still going to get on his ass. And then I'm like, bro, this is the last chance. I don't want to do this to him because I just have a feeling that this shit is going to go. About you were giving him mercy at this point. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I have a feeling that this shit is going to go like way higher and deeper mm. than it needs to go. Mm. Let's not do this. Definitely. He then still says, nah, fuck that. He still wants to get on your ass. Like, that's what he says. So I'm like, all right, man, just let me know whenever he's on the game and I'll hop on. Okay. So it was, like, it was immediate smoke when he hit the lobby when he hit the yeah, yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. So two months go by. Uh -huh. I'm just chilling. They 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 start blowing up my phone, both of them, Jordan and Luca. They're calling me. Mm. And I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like y'all y'all keep calling me and shit. I answer. They're like, yo, get on the game. Jace, Jace wants to uh he, Jace is trying to talk that shit. Okay. I'm like, all right, man, fuck it. So I get on the game and I'm just trying to do this shit and get off the game. Like, I'm just trying to do it, get it over with, yeah. and get in and get out. Y'all schedule a little fight, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's so like, I get I get into the I load into the lobby and mm. I immediately start talking shit. I'm like, yeah, bitch ass nigga, I heard you was looking for me and shit. <laughs> and he was like, uh, he's like, oh man, I can't do this right now. I gotta mute this guy. Bro, he was 1v1 in a 14-year-old. And like, that's that's why he was like, I can't do this right now. What you, what you mean by that? Like, bro, he was in the game, man. Uh, <laughs> he was Fortnite, he was 1v1 to 14-year-old, bro. And like the kid was, he was like a kid. He was like my friend's nephew. So, like, I played with him before. I'm like, bro, this is a kid. Like, 
what are you like trying to prove 1v1 them? And he's like, oh, I'm going to mute him. I, I got to mute you, bro. I can't do this right now. Mm. Now, Eric, have you ever like shit talk somebody in like lobbies before? I used to get, I used to get flamed on a game. Okay, okay. So we know that the person who mutes somebody, mm. they automatically lose, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're done. So he muted me as soon as I got in the lobby. He lost before it even started. Mm. Like he lost before it even started. Wow. But wait, so so he was telling you to join. Okay, from what I'm from what I'm hearing from the story, he was telling you to get on the game. Yeah. To talk that shit. Yeah. And then when you started talking that shit, he muted you. Yeah, and so he, he used the he used the excuse so as so he's, he's trying to <laughs> exactly yeah. bitch ass nigga. Yes. Wow. Press that one more time. Real spells. Hell yeah. All right, I like that shit. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> nah, man. So uh. So yeah, he he uh, he mutes me, mm. and then I'm like, all right, whatever. I wait for him to get done one v one in the kid. The kid shits on him, mm. and then he unmutes me. He's like, all right, like, and we start talking shit back and forth. Yeah, he's losing badly. I'm 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 just roasting the fuck out of him, and then he starts inviting his friends into the lobby to uh, to help him out. Oh, he brought back up. Yeah, Damn. and his friends is all getting. Ro I'm roasting the fuck out of everybody. I mean, you would think that a revolving door is in this lobby. The way people are just coming in and out, and I'm roasting the fuck out of everybody. Clown. Everybody's getting clowned. Everybody. And then it's like a big-ass lobby. Everybody's mm. laughing and shit. This is a custom game, right? Yeah, yeah, We're just in the lobby type shit. Type. So, so yeah, like, everybody gets roasted. I'm like, yeah, yeah like, it, I've been going for an hour now. Mm. There's not much more I can say. I'm getting tired and shit. And so I'm like, all right, yeah, like, I got you, nigga. Like, you shouldn't have did this. Like it's over with, nah, and it's and, yeah. and I it's fucking played. was the I was declared the winner, and I left. I thought it was over. Reigning champion Dave Blunt, ladies and gentlemen. Real spills. Real spills. Wow, this is great. Bro. Yeah, and so then, after that, he then decides to message me on Xbox. Mm. Oh, so we're we're not on PC. This is on console. Yeah, yeah. This okay. is when I was so, talking. So I, I play is, on PC now, but I used is, to play on Xbox. This is that shit because you know. Them, them parties were bad, bro. Yeah, yeah, plugging, yeah, in, yeah. plugging in that mic, you were ready to talk that shit. You Hell yeah. That shit, bro. Hell yeah. So. That's fine. Yeah, so he messages me on Xbox. He's like, hey, bro, I thought you were from Iowa. And then he sends me like a ping location of somewhere in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. He's like, is this where you're at? Oh, he doxed your ass. He, he tried to, yeah, but mm. I'm, I don't even live in fucking Minnesota. Okay, yeah. What so. a dumbass. I don't know whose location. That cane was not busting, sir. <laughs> So I'm I'm just like I'm fucking with them at this point. I'm just like, bro, like, mm. yeah, pull up, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro. And then I, I got mad because I'm like, bro, I live in a house of all women. Mm, if okay. you think you're gonna come in here, know, come, come in, into my household and rape and pillage like the Vikings, I'm not going for that shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, so it's like that was a personal threat to me. Mm. So I'm just and, like and, and, and he said that he was gonna do some crazy shit? No, I'm just saying, I'm just using that as like a okay, metaphor. Yeah, yeah, it's like, bro, yeah, you're yeah, not going to yeah, come in here like the Vikings no, no, and shit. No, no, no. Yeah, like pillage, you know, burn everything down afterwards, mm -mm. you know oh, what I'm no. saying? So, <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, so, I mean, it's like he didn't have to say anything. The fact that you send my, try to send my potential location to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think that is? That's a threat, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. So it's like, I, I should act accordingly. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, man, pull up. You know, you think you got the address? Pull up, you know, he's just talking that shit. Mm. And I'm like, all right, man, this dude's a bitch, so I'm just gonna forever submit him as a bitch. Okay. So I just cooked up three songs talking about him being broke, fucking his bitch, and all that shit. And so those songs came out, and the people that he worked with were mm. singing those songs around yes, him so yes, much. Yes, this is where this is where I wanted to get to. <laughs> they were singing those songs around him so much every day mm -hmm, that, he ended, that he ended up quitting, quitting his fucking his job. job. Fucking he quit his job. Hell. And this is Jace, right? Yeah, Jace. Yes, Jace. Jace. Wow. So imagine every single day that you're working at wherever Jace was working, <laughs> and your employees are coming up to you talking about some Jace broke as fuck. Yeah, Jace got yeah. no money. Jace got nothing. Yeah. And this is at his job where he's trying to make money to put yeah. food on the table. Indeed. Yeah. And he's still getting called broke. Yeah. I mean, that shit's crazy, bro. It's a hard life to live when Dave Blunts hates you, bro. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate him, but I. Uh, I don't like that nigga. <laughs> I, you know what? Hate is a strong word, David. Yeah. I'm very happy that you don't hate him. Yeah, that's very yeah. fine. So I think on this next part, we're gonna get into some more questions. But I think we okay. should start. Uh, start putting our. Start putting our canvases to work. All right, David, sure, if you look behind sure. us, we got some paint. Well, we got some sip as well. 
go grab a brush, do what you need to do. I haven't painted since I was in elementary school. Right, so um, yeah, man, Dude, this is gonna be a this is gonna be funny as fuck. Um, All right, so I'm supposed to paint Julian. You're right? painting Julian. I'm painting okay. Abigail. I'm gonna just guess off the top of my head what Abigail looks like. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't All give right. me any detail. I I'm gotcha, gonna just, I gotcha. I'm gonna just try my hardest to okay. make her in all her glory. Trying to figure out which color I should use. Okay, I just know it. So, uh, yeah. Dave, what is next after all of these singles? We have we have your newest one that just came out, and the video just dropped as well. Go get that right now on yeah, Mosh Pit, baby. Come on. Sun. Go watch that shit. Go watch that shit, baby. Come on, beautiful video, beautiful video. <laughs> But um, yeah, what do you have next, Dave? Talk to us about what's coming up. After All right, so singles. I'm I'm currently working on my album, you know what I'm saying, and uh, it's gonna be some crazy shit, bro. Like this album is sounding really good. I'm like working every day. I just just came from my hotel room. I was just working on some music, you know what I'm saying. Fire. Brought the studio with me here to LA, and uh, I'm just cooking up, bro. I'm just cooking up the album. That's what's next. What what can we expect on this album? Is it are, are you switching up what you've been doing recently? Is it a combination of sounds? Is it something that's like, is is, is this the Dave Blunts that you want everyone to hear? I mean, of course, hell yeah! If I put it out, I want people to hear it. You oh, know what yes, I'm saying? Right. Yeah, uh, what I what would I consider this album to be? I would consider it to be real nigga music, Eric. That's what I would consider yeah. it to be. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, real stories, real people. I mean, the realest that, you know, you can get. Mm. Um, and it's going to be, you know, I'm going to introduce some new characters in that uh, I haven't mentioned before. And uh, really, I just want it to be a good album, man. And I'm, you know what? From what I've been hearing, Dave, I'm so 100% expecting an amazing album from you, bro. And this is going to be so great because I feel like this can transcend the the... This can go into the next question, but let's like I really wanted to talk to you about like the the actual music part of what you do because okay. a lot of people think that this is just some funny ass joke shit. But yeah. after listening to your album, bro, like it's it's like that's sh- we're we're for real. Like this is yeah. this is some crazy shit. The flows that I'm hearing are ridiculous. Like you know how do you how how are you handling these people in your comments and how are you handling this newfound you know success I guess with what you've been making and the art that you've been producing like. How do well, you want to make sure that this is not considered a joke and this is some for real shit that people got to know? Like, all right, this is Dave Blunts and this is how I'm coming. Shit, it. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, bro, if, if somebody thinks this is a joke, mm. they're, they're laughing at home. Mm, I'm I, laughing yeah, my way to the bank. You know what I'm saying? That's like, bro, what the fuck are we talking about? I love that answer. That, that is you know, the, and that's it's like, this shit answer. ain't, like, this shit isn't a joke. You know what I'm saying? I, obviously, I have, like, comedic elements in my music but i mean this shit is real it's my real life and of course of course you look in the course. comments you know there will be people from my hometown like yo that's crazy you actually put that person in there like all you got to do is check the comments bro people are telling you know they're fucking giving the proof for me mm. so i mean these are all real people real things that i'm saying in my music and yeah bro it's, like it's yeah. it's definitely something that i feel like you're going to deal with more because um Doing anything regarding something that is like rooted in humor, I feel like is always taking a, a different uh, a different route because yeah. you know I have done a lot of things rooted in humor regarding music and having fun with music and doing stuff like that and uh, I think the seriousness besides when I actually am coming out with stuff has been taken in different directions. Yeah. But um, yeah, man, I feel like you have a pretty hard grasp on um you know, what you want to make as an artist and what you want to do as a as a creative. So. Yeah, and I'm just putting my personality in my music and it's like, I have the evidence to back that shit up. Like, when I released a snippet for Hospital Bed, people was like, what the fuck is this? Like, mm-hmm. you weren't actually in the hospital and then I posted a video of me in the hospital with my studio equipment mm-hmm. and people was like, oh shit, this is real. Like, this was, is fucking he, he real. was actually in the hospital. Yeah, so it's like, I have all the receipts mm-hmm. For anything that a nigga wants to say is fake, not it's real, right it's right I got there. receipts for everything. He got the car facts. So that is a it's like, yeah, thing. all this shit is real. It's like, I guess they didn't work out for other people who were doing, you know, joke shit is because, you know, I guess it wasn't real. My shit's real, though. Real stuff. So, yeah. That is a, that is a hard, really, thing to, it's, it's a hard thing to grasp as an artist. I feel like when you're doing something where it's so genuine to the point where people think that shit's a joke, but... 
you know, I, again, I feel like you have a really good grasp on what you want to do as a as as a, as a Dave Blunt. So Dave Hell Blunt, yeah. I'm I'm proud of you, man. Real spell. So the next thing that I want to fall into, man, uh, you know, coming from the town that you're from and the state that you're from, man, like, what are your impressions of these cities that you've been to recently? I mean, like, I I don't know where else you've been so far. I think L.A. really is the only spot. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I went to L.A. and New York. Hey, man, I fuck with L.A. and I fuck with New York. Uh, New York was a little bit weird, man. Uh, um, really? You, f- you thought New York was weird? Yeah, like, just weird. Be- I feel like I was in the Twilight Zone when mm. I was there. Yeah, no, so uh, it's definitely a place uh, that can make you feel a type way for the first time. Yeah, man, you know, it was my hotel that I was staying at. The room uh, on the TV, mm. it had the descriptive audio for blind people. So it was like every time that, like... Something was going on on the TV. It was like, oh, Chelsea just walked in the room and the killer just stabbed her three times. Mm. And I'm like, okay, they got that on one channel, bro. I go to every channel. It's like that. I I'm like, what I, the hell? Like, you think that's you think that's you think that's crazy? Like, is, yeah, yeah, like why was that on the? I'm not blind. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why that was on the TV. I feel like it's there just in case you are blind. Though. No, but we couldn't I mean, turn wait, it off. Like, we couldn't turn it off. Wait, what do you mean, like blind? Like, you still, you, if you were watching the the shit, you still couldn't, you still couldn't see what it was. You, you mean like if you're. Yeah, yeah, so no, that's that's what they have it for for blind people. They can't see, uh-huh. so there's like a person saying, "Oh, what's saying going that on. shit out loud." Yeah, exactly. So they're like, "Yeah, mm. a killer just walked in the room and then stabbed oh, her three times." I like, thought you were talking about like the little subtitles. Yeah, shit. no, not the subtitles. No, like descriptive audio. Mm, okay. And that shows on every channel. I'm like, what the fuck? Word. All right. And then, uh, yeah, no, it was just a bunch of other shit. But LA, uh, New York was cool though. It was cool. Mm. Just a lot of like like little weird shit going on while I was there. But yeah, it was cool. Yeah, no, I'm glad you enjoyed it, bro. Uh, just, I just fuck with LA, here. man. You know, it's uh, it's cool out here, man. It's cool. The so, first time I came out here, I got sick because all the pollen, but oh, I'm bro. all right now. We, when one of my first times, I think it was like the second time I came out to LA. It was like around COVID time. And uh, yeah, we, my entire B&B that we were staying with, just everybody just got fucked up, bro. <laughs> Damn, it was yeah. a bad time, bro. Bad time to get sick. Bad time to travel. But yeah, no. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying these cities, man. I'm glad you're getting out of out of Iowa. Seeing seeing different scenery, seeing different people, Hell is yeah. definitely something that helps with the creation of new art and making music. So super super excited for what you're seeing in these cities that you're going to. Yeah, I'm um, making some crazy shit. So, giving back to the family, man. Let's talk about the family because I, I feel yeah. like you know we've chopped it up. I love my mom. I know you love your mom. Yeah. Uh, you said you live with all women. So, what is what was that like growing up? You have sisters. You have cousins. You have. Uh yeah. So I have. I live with my uh, my mom and my sister. My younger sister. She, she's eighteen. She's getting ready to graduate. Uh, that's pretty much who I like grew up with. Uh, just my mom and my sister and my. Older sister used to live with us, you know, until she, you know, got to the age where she can move out and mm-hmm. shit. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, that shit was kind of crazy. Like, I was the man of the house since I was probably, like, eight, nine years old. My, I have an older brother, but he moved out mm-hmm. uh, as soon as he was done with high school. Didn't really come back. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't really have any male role models. All of my role models are women. You know what I'm saying? So Real spells. <laughs> Real spells. Real spells. Uh, so yeah, man, I mean, that shit was just like, I was always having to be like, make hard decisions that usually a dad would have to make. Mm. I would have to make those decisions at the age of fucking like 10, 11. You like know what, I'm what, what type of decision? Like, like some, like some real shit, like some, like some bills or like some, some like, like, like real decisions for like me and my sister. So like, mm, mm. there was a point in time where like, uh, my mom she was going through a lot of mental health issues and she came to me when I was like 11 Mm. and she said, yo, I'm going through some shit right now. Uh, it would be better if you and your sister would go to stay at like a foster home for a little bit while I go and get the help that I need. Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to stay? And me being 11 years old, obviously I'm gonna be like, no, I want to, you know, fucking stay with my mom. I don't want to go to some foster home. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had to make that decision for me and my sister. Yeah. Who was, I mean, if my sister's five years younger than me, I don't know how old she was at that time. And I'm not too good at math. But if I was 11, she was five years younger than that. Mm. So, like, that was a so, decision. So she was six years old? Yeah. yeah. So that's a decision that a child had to make, a big life-changing decision. Yeah, no, that is a very And so, thing. yeah, that's that's the shit that I'm talking about. You ended up staying, right? Yeah, I ended up staying. Yeah, I told her, I'm like, I want to stay with you. We want to stay with you, mm. no matter what. And I'm glad that we made that decision, but it was definitely... 
it was definitely hard. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I mean, it was definitely hard to stay when she's going through shit. Of course. I mean, like throughout. I mean, like so. Would you classify them as like your support system through the music shit as well? Like, do they support? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, my right mom now? is my. My mom is my biggest supporter and it sometimes can be my biggest hater. You know what I'm saying? So, this shit is, uh, I definitely got, you know, my mom is always, since the, since I was born, she's always told me that I was, she used to call me, still calls me the prodigal son. You know, she was saying I was going to be the one to lead us out of poverty and, you know, all the shit we were going through. And sure. oftentimes she would get mad at me and lash out. Mm. And I didn't really understand until I got older, you yeah. know. I'm 23 now, so uh, when I, I didn't understand until I got older that, you know, a lot of those times she was getting mad at me because I wasn't living up to my potential. Mm. I was doing dumb shit, you know, I was oh, I feel yeah, it. hanging out <laughs> with my friends, you know, going I to parties and yeah. all that shit. And yeah. so I, as a kid, I'm like, damn, get off of my ass, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's like... You don't really know at that point. Though. Yeah, you don't know. You feel, yeah. like, you feel like you're making the best decisions you've ever made in your entire life when you're fucking 16, 15 years Hell old. Hell yeah, man. I mean, shit, bro. I'm, I'm smoking weed, bro. I'm fucking Hell hoes. Yeah. Like, I'm like 16, 17. I'm like, bro, this is the life yeah. right here. No, life is this shit doesn't get any better than this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, mm -hmm. I had to realize that like, nah, that's not like... Then you become a grown man, Dave Blunts, and then you're yeah. like, oh, fuck. I know I'm, I'm being dumb. And yeah, 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 I, yeah. Uh, luckily, I caught on to that shit early. Yeah, no. I you know mean, what I'm saying? Like, I was like... you for that, bro. Rare yeah. as fuck to catch on to that shit early because not a lot of people do. Yeah, I but, caught on to that shit before it got too deep. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you have a support system, bro. I feel like... Yeah. So, so they're they're obviously in tune with what you got going on right now. And do you feel like, you know, the project... The project that... I can't even say that word. Um, the prodigal but, son? Yeah, the prodigal son. Um, do you feel like you are living up to that or do you feel like you I have mean, a long shit, ways, I'm trying you know, I think it, I go. think I've I think I'm doing pretty good so far pretty good so far is mm. what I'll say yeah uh, no for sure I, I agree I mean I, I definitely am uh you know it's just it's crazy because you know I've I don't know. It's crazy, bro. I've been making music for six years since 2018. Holy shit. Uh, I quit my full-time job to focus on music fully. So, where, where, where were you working at? Bro, I was working at a fucking call center, bro. A call center? Yeah, bro. Oh, that shit was, talk to us about that. What, bro, what fuck is, that job, what man. Is, so, uh, nah, fuck, for, okay, first of all, <laughs> real spill. Fuck that goddamn job. Fuck the call center, first of all. So, but what... What would you tell me? What would you give me if you could give me like a day in a life as somebody who works at a call center? What I got you. Like? I, I can't give you a day in a life. I'm gonna give you a day in my life. Day, okay, talk to me, bro. Talk All right, bro. So I would have to wake up mm. at 5 a.m. Oh my goodness. I would have to take. The, so the call center is way the fuck out, like far past, my, like on the outskirts of my town, mm. and like in literally in the middle, there's like a bunch of fucking cornfields, and there's a big ass building. Yeah. That's where my that's where the job was. That shit was at least like, I don't know an amount of miles, but it was far. So I had to take the bus to get there. I took one bus and it didn't take me all the way there. No bus goes fully all the way there. So one bus would take me to the halfway point, which was at a fucking Burger King mm. at like five in the morning. Burger Kings don't open at five in the morning, Eric. So I had to stand outside of the fucking Burger King until they opened, until I could go in there and wait for the second bus mm. to come get me, which would come get me at like, I don't know, like six or seven. Then that bus would take me to the job. And then when I'm done, uh, another bus would come get me and take me back to the halfway point. So, so far we're at three buses, Eric. Wow. And then... Uh, a fourth bus would come get me from the halfway point and take me to my house. Four motherfucking buses, so man. Much bus. And these aren't city buses. No, nah, no, nah, man. These ain't no city buses, bro. These are like like a private owned company buses. Mm. So like So if, if you miss one of these bitches, you're fucked. Yeah, and okay. sometimes they just wouldn't come get me. Okay. Like they, they just wouldn't show up. Uh -huh. And so like, bro, I'm just fucking standing out there waiting hours praying, bro. Mm. Praying like God. Every time, I always got to, like, a ride home by, like, by the grace of God. Like, mm. somebody who I went to school with, hey, nigga, what's good, man? What you doing out here? I'm like, hey, man, can you give me a ride home? And he's like, hell yeah, I got you. Wow, shout and out so, to like, him, bro. Yeah. Real spill. Real spill. That's crazy. Real spill. So, yeah, man. And then the job itself was fucking ass, man. Mm. Like, so my, my job was to refill prescriptions. Mm. I'm not a fucking pharmacist, no, Eric. No, no. Wait, so, okay. You're refilling prescriptions. Right? Yeah, I'm not a pharmacist, so I can't even announce, like, uh, pronounce, yeah, pronounce. I can't pronounce the fucking, 
names of the prescriptions and shit that I'm saying. Mm. And then I got to break it down to these elderly people mm. that they don't have enough money for their prescriptions and, and shit. And they're yelling back at you on the phone. Like, yeah, no, I do. I have enough bread. Yeah. And then uh, not only that, bro, they're giving me sob stories. Like, oh, I, I need this medication to live. Like, if I don't have this, I'm going to die. And uh, I'm like, bro, I got to be the one that damn. like has to break down to them. It's like, sorry, but shit, man, you don't have to die. You don't got the bread for this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, it's over. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, awful. I, I have to be the bad guy, bro. I, I'm putting in a situation you're telling people where I got to be the bad guy, die, bro. Dave, that's fucking awful, man. Yeah, bro. So that shit was crazy. I quit that shit one day, bro. Oh, my God. I did, like, I it, it was, was kind of like a movie how I quit because... Oh, you made a scene. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. So... Bro, that job had job me so stressed, bro. Mm. I started fucking smoking cigarettes wow. because of that job, bro. Like, I, I was just out on my break one day out of, like, telling, like, 10 old people that they were going to die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I go on my break, and I'm just like, bro, like, I can't keep doing this shit. And this old black dude, he's like, hey, whippersnapper, Whip you want a cigarette? Wow. Wow. You want a cigarette? Hey, I'm you like, were about it. you were about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, shit, man, I'll try the cigarette. And I mm. smoked that shit. But that shit relieved all my stress. I'm like, all right, mm. time to go back into the shit and tell 10 more old people that they're going to die. Wow, that so, is fucking awful. Uh, yeah, bro, this shit was crazy. So, yeah, I started smoking cigarettes and shit. So, one day on my break, mm. I go out to smoke a cigarette, bro. And I'm just like, this shit isn't relieving the stress. Like, I smoked three of them hoes. Damn. <laughs> and I'm like, this shit ain't relieving the stress. I can't you're, do this okay, shit, bro. Okay, so you're taking. Okay, we gotta we gotta back up because right. we're, we're we're taking cigarettes to the face. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. day. So what what type of cigarettes were you smoking? Is it a regular menthol? Uh, hey man, all black people smoke Newport 100s. Wow. Man. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so I'm smoking these Newport 100s, man. Mm. And honestly, go to cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so like I said, man. Oh shit. So yeah, like I said, man. Uh, that shit was just hard. I'm like, I can't keep doing this shit. Mm. I got to quit. Like, I, I, I quit. So I was getting ready to leave without saying nothing. But then my boss was like, yo, didn't you, uh, didn't you just go out on your break? And I'm like, bro, that shit just pissed me off. Like, didn't you already go on your break? Mm. I was getting ready to leave, bro. I was getting ready to leave without saying nothing. I'm just like, nah, I fucking quit. Like, I screamed yeah. that shit. Nah, and uh, I thought it was going to be one of those scenes in the movies where everybody stands up and clears. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it's like chaps, yeah. like claps and cheers and shit. Woo, congratulations. <laughs> Stuck into them. Nah, man, they was all quiet and scared. They Damn. thought I was gonna shoot that bitch up or some oh. shit like that. Like, they were all scared, bro. And so, bro, I walk out of my job, bro. <laughs> bro, it was scared, bro. <laughs> oh Real God. spill. Real spill. Okay. No. Oh my God. So yeah, man, they uh, yeah, man, they were all scared, and I'm walking out and. She's running after me, like, what's going on? Like, why are you? And like, get out there, bro. And it's like, bro, this shit is like, it's like a, it's like a scene from a movie, bro. Mm. Like, it's, it's low key hella beautiful out there in, in the middle of nowhere. Like, I can see the sun coming up and shit. It's still early in the morning and shit. Mm. You know, it's like, it's just upon the horizon and shit. And I'm looking out at it, and she's like, "Why are you quitting? Like, why? What's going on?" I'm like, "Bro, I come here every day, bro. I don't want to do this shit. I gotta wait. I take four buses. This is some bullshit, man. I can't keep doing this shit. Hell no, yeah. Like, no y'all didn't even that, train man. us properly and all that shit, pause. And it's like, bro, like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. And she's just like, I'm, uh, she starts crying, bro. Mm. And I see her cry, and I start crying. Yeah, no. And I'm right. just like, I, I'm sorry, but like, bro, this this job is ass. Yeah, like, no, no this worries. shit sucks. I can't keep doing this. She's like, well, I'm sorry you had a bad experience. Mm. Uh, is there anything that I can do so like nobody else has to go through this? I'm like, man, fuck them niggas. Like, I don't care about anybody else having to go through this shit. Like, I, like, hey, man, y'all just got to do better. I don't know what to tell you. She pretty much just asked me how to do her job. Mm. I'm like, shit, man, I don't know. Just do better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so, yeah, she, she went in there and I was just standing in the horizon, bro. And I was like, I was just staring at the sun, bro. And I was just like, bro, like I, I gotta, like, I can't keep doing this shit, bro. Like I, I gotta get some shit shaking with this music shit, bro. Like, and like, and tell I went me, home. please tell me that that birthed what we now have. Today. It is. Yeah, bro. Cause wow. I, I was talking to God. Like I was literally having a conversation with God. I'm like, bro. And this is something you shouldn't say to God. But I was like, I literally don't care. If you tell me that this isn't what you want for me, I'm doing this shit. Mm. Like, I was talking to God. I'm like, I'm doing this. And even if you say that I shouldn't, no matter what, I'm doing Damn. it. So, 
yeah, after that, I just went home and like I was making songs on my fucking Android phone, bro. Wow. Okay, for like so we're the longest recording. Time. So you, I, I don't think I asked you that yet. So where, where have you been making all this music for the past, you said, eight years? Yeah, uh, six years. Six so years. I started off on my phone, mm -hmm. like on my Android phone, and it's not like how this is back in twenty eighteen. Yeah, so I think Band Lab, pre, pre Band Lab. This I is, think it was around, but it's not like what it was uh, yeah, now. It it, now. Maybe it was. I yeah. don't know. Uh -huh. But I was recording on this app called Intrack, mm, and five shout out Intrack, man. Yeah, I didn't know what it was, so I used to just call it Nigga Track, uh, just for the end. But uh, so yeah, man, and uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to call Like me and my friends Would make songs on there Like hey pull up nigga We gonna record on nigga track I'm like hell yeah So I can say that right Yeah Okay I, mean, I just wanna make bro, sure I don't, okay. I don't even know What this point bro <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it When I get to it Okay bro. okay So uh <laughs> So yeah man And then uh, after that You know I had a friend Who I went to high school with His name is Blazing God Shout out Blazing God mm. Uh he had like a studio in his crib. He's like, hey, bro, like your music is good, but it needs better quality. You know, come over to my crib and we can just cook up. So like sure. that's what I was doing for at least all the way up until like 2021. You mm. know, he just he got busy. So he couldn't like he didn't have the time to like always record me and shit. Mm. And like I, I understood oh, that so shit. At this point, you were being you were being engineered at this point. Yeah, yeah I was being engineered and shit. So I was like, damn. So I, after that, I just I was like, damn, I'm kind of like forced to learn how to do this shit so mm -hmm. i watched a bunch of youtube videos i went out and bought the equipment in like 2022 and that's when i started i've been recording myself since then Fire. so yeah. so you, you switched from you switched from the from the goddamn from, from the phone you're going on a full dog now are you using fl you yeah using, i'm using fl studio fire, yeah. Bro. Hell yeah that's what we are i mean that's what i use to this day Hell yeah. i can't that use anything like, else bro me I either really it's only because i only learned how to do fl i don't Feel like learning how to do other shit. Everything man. else looks like rocket science, bro. I can't, I can't do, I can't do this shit that everybody else does, bro. With Ableton or with Pro Tools, I feel like Pro Tools is the industry standard. No, but I'm not with all that shit. I can't, bro. I, I actually can't. But you know, since I've been coming out here, like I've been using uh, uh, engineers and shit. Mm -hmm. And when I went to New York, I like used an engineer. I fuck with that shit. I like it because yeah, like engineers are fire, bro. Hard. It's a lot of tedious shit you gotta do when you're recording yourself. Hell yeah. That should be getting on my nerves. But I feel like when I'm recording, bro, I be making weird noises and that I don't want other grown men to hear, you know? Yeah, and I be saying wild shit in yeah. my music. I mean, so yeah, it's you like do, you do say some pretty Yeah, wild and it's shit. like naturally when I'm around people, yeah. I try to like tame it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like with my music, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. like tame it for anybody. So definitely not. Yeah, now now I just say the crazy shit. You know, in I'm just in front of the engineer. You know yeah, in front of the engineer, and they're just they're, they're just laughing. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, why why is this fire? Like, when I was and in yo, New, we saying why is this fire is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Fire. So <laughs> when I was in New York, the song that I made in New York, I was saying some pretty crazy shit in there. Uh -huh. And when I came back in there to hear it, the engineer was like, "Why the fuck do I like this?" Wow. Like he was like, "Why is this fire? Why yeah. do I like this?" That's crazy. That you you I have like, that effect yeah. on people. I'm yeah. thinking, bro. I think the, what I've seen on the internet and what I've seen on these, and this is a great segue to talk about um, how you've been, de you know, dealing with this newfound shit and dealing with all these people, you know, perceiving your art. Because a lot of people uh, have the perception of, um, you know, other people liking their stuff or other people not liking their stuff, and they all perceive it differently. So how have you? How have you enjoyed or how have you uh, been, you know, taking in all this new, uh, these new eyes and these new feelings and stuff like that? Well, even though, Eric, I am a broke ass nigga, I'm mm. not doing this shit for the money. You know what I'm saying? Real like, spell. Real spell. Uh, because I know that my talent will bring the money. Mm. So really, I mean, I guess you could say I'm somewhat of like an attention slut, attention or something like that, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Are, because I like the attention. That's my favorite part of this is like people saying that they like my music. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That is that is what I want. I want people to like my music. I want people to hear that shit and be like, yeah, this shit's fire. That's the, I just want to be appreciated for my art. You know what I'm saying? That's really all I care about. And I know that my art will bring the money, so I'm not worried about that shit. I'm just worried about making the best product for the people. I mean, I feel like a lot of people, I mean, when it comes down to making music, it's like a, you gotta really do, you have to really be built for it. Yeah. Like, it's not something that uh, is for the, I, it's so annoying to say because I feel like it's so corny because like streamers have said it, musicians have said it, like, oh, it's a hard job. But it really is. Sometimes it's a, a situation where, like, you know, you have 
hundreds of thousands and to millions of people, you know, describing you and, and, and using their own opinion about you. And yeah. you get to read that shit and it really fucks up your psyche. But I feel like you, in your sense, like you're loving these people being able to try to figure out who you are. I think that's, I think that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, um, you know, I don't plan on being like, you know, mysterious or anything Hell like no, that. I don't plan that, on that being so mysterious out, Dave, I, that's a great, that's a great thing to, that's a great thing to talk about. I feel like being mysterious is honestly so just not, thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. Um, but being mysterious is so out of, honestly, like, it's just so out, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not fucking with that. And I know a lot of people aren't fucking with that because, like, you know, not all of us could be the, the artist that uh, Frank Ocean or Cardi or whoever yeah, let me, is, let bro. Me get one of those. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and, yeah, man, it's like, to your point, it's like, if that works for them, cool. But I'm just saying that's not who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm very, like, I, you know, I be cracking jokes and shit. I be, you know, I have, like, a good personality. So that's what I want to put on the forefront. You know what I'm saying? Of course, man. I feel like, you know, when it comes down to really uh, the ending and the, the final blocks of what you have going on, um, what's going to stand out is your personality and how your art uh, separates yourself from everyone else. So if, Hell yeah. if you're trying to do something where, you know, you are trying to look like this starved um, creative that nobody, uh, no one understands, um, you know, that shit is, uh, it's just getting old, bro. Yeah. I mean, shit. It's working for them, though. Like, I, I really don't knock it. I'm just saying, well, like, not, I, that not, shit I'm just ain't me. Knock it. I'm, not just knock it. I'm, I'm not knocking it either. Yeah. I feel like if it's not you, then it's not you. But, like, yeah. I think that's a that's a thing that people don't really know how to grasp themselves is that something can't be them, and you should just be yourself. I feel like being yourself yeah. is, uh, it's coming back 2024. <laughs> Real spell. It's coming back. We're on our way back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But, yeah, man, let's, I, I mean, let's keep it going, bro. I mean, like, uh, speaking of crazy shit that's been going on, right? Yeah. When you touched down recently in LA, please tell us that Uber driver story because your Instagram live had me and the rest of the world crying. <laughs> oh shit, uh, bro, that's that shit that I just be doing regularly, like even without, you know, recording it. But I was just like, I, I be, I be like, I like to hear people's stories and shit. So whenever I like. I, uh, whenever I meet anybody, I, like I ask them, like, "Hey, man, what you be on? Like, what you mm. be doing? Like, you be fucking O's or like, what you be up to? Like, that's just like one of my go-to <laughs> questions. You know, what I'm saying you be fucking O's, you got a girl? Like, what's going on, man? Yeah, so, like, yeah. I like to hear people's stories. So, I'm asking him. I say, "Hey, man, are you married?" Mm. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm married and shit." You know, he said that he came here from. I think he said he was Armenian. Mm. And uh, <laughs> and so. Bro, uh, I was like, hey, man, you heard of this rapper named Dave Blunt? He's going up right now. They say this shit is crazy. Mm. He's like, no, I've never heard of him. And then he starts pulling out his phone to look it up. I was like, yeah, he's got a lot of controversy right now because they, like, they uh, people don't like him because he's gay. <laughs> I'm just I'm just fucking with him. I'm, uh, so, yeah. Damn. And he's like, he's he's gay? I'm like, yeah, he's gay. And then, uh, <laughs> and he pulls it up. He's like, this is you. This is you. You are gay? I'm like, nah, man, I was fucking with you. <laughs> and he starts laughing. He's like, ah, you are funny. Yes, you are funny. You are funny. You told me you are gay. You told me. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts playing my shit. He plays like. He, you he, said he, that he was scrolling through your entire. Bro, time yeah, he day. played at least two of my albums. Wow. Yeah, for real. That is, Wow. Wait, he played two of your albums? Two of my albums, yeah. He yeah. went through your whole shit then? Yeah, yeah. My albums are very short. Like, my albums are like seven, eight songs. Wow, so, okay. Yeah. So your last album was, 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 was seven, eight songs that you just released? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I never... Uh, I've never seen someone be so hype in my entire life. That man was scrolling and clicking and scrolling and clicking and scrolling and clicking. Yeah, he was crazy, yeah. so excited to have Dave Blunt in his car. I would be excited <laughs> to have Dave Blunt in my car. That is, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, shit, that dude was cool. He fucking, uh, he like when I got out, when I got to where I was going, he dapped me up. He's like, yes, man, I am now a new fan. Yeah! Dave Blunt, yes. Woo! Dapped me up and shit. So fine. He's Dave, Dave Blunt, the gay man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, shit, hell yeah, bro. Oh my god, Dave, if you could give me, all right, 
uh, I'm not a future man, but yeah. if you could give me the five years later into whatever we have currently right now, what do you think five years from now that you're going to be doing? And where do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to see? What, what is Dave Blunt's going to be like in the next five years? Honestly, bro, the thing that I crave most is uh, stability. You know what I'm saying? Equilibrium. I like that. Yeah, you know, coming from like, you know, a household that wasn't the most stable. Mm. That's what I really want. You know, I want a wife. I want kids. You know what I'm saying? A family Shit man. like that. A family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like Me and my family, you know, we never really sat down at the table for dinner. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I want shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, uh, very sweet. I don't, know, I don't know if within the next five years, do I want a child in the next five years? Mm. Let's see. How old would I be? I'll be like 28. Yeah. Sure, man. I'll take like one kid by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool to have like one kid, you know, maybe like a wife or some shit, man. Mm. Mm. And yeah, bro. And just like continuously, you know, go and see how far I can take this music shit, man. I mean, I don't, I have aspirations for where I want it to go. But shit never really works out how I want it to go. So, I mean, shit, bro. We like, can't say that, Dave Bluss. We, we can't say that. We can't say that. We need to be, we need to be fully positive, bro. I feel, yeah, like, yeah. I feel like with what you have going on and what you have here, you're, you're touching a lot of people in a way that are, you know, they haven't been touched before. Pause. Yeah, facts. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, man. It's, it's, there's been a lot of, com- like, in my comments, I'll pe- see people say, like, you know, you're on a generational run. You're a generational talent. Mm. And there's been, like, people from the industry, you know, in high... I'm not going to say who they are, but in, like, high-ranking positions that are saying that as well. Yeah. And it's like, that shit's a lot of fucking pressure. I'm not going to lie, bro. It is. It like, is, but you can handle yeah, that. It's, like. it's a lot of pressure, you know mm. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, bro. I mean, I don't know if I can handle it, Eric. I mean, I, I'm not too good with pressure, man. I mean, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, I you put so. me in the interrogation room, I'm folding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, That's why I don't put myself in those situations. You're getting that meat mountain, you're getting that shit, man. Yeah, yeah bro. You're but uh, that Arby sandwich and that little Huggies juice. Yeah, yeah. So, would you tell, Dave? Keep it a buck. Would you tell? Would I tell? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Do you, <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, bro. I'm not trying to go to prison. But hey, listen, listen. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but the thing oh is, bro, I don't, goodness. I don't portray myself to be a tough guy. Me? You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't portray myself to be a street nigga or anything mm. like that. Um, and it's like, would I tell on my friends like Jesse Jones? Fuck no, not on my friends. Mm. I'll, I'll. Jesse has laid down his life for me in actual situations. For sure. So I would lay down my life for him at the Anytime. end of, yeah. yeah. So all my friends, fuck no. Yeah. But like, some, if it comes down to it, like, and like, cool, like some, some random who like, yeah, yeah, bro, mm-hmm. fuck yeah. But I wouldn't put myself in a situation where I would have to tell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Of course not. So it's like, hey man, you know, stamp my, that my, shit here. Yeah. My gosh, my gosh. My gosh. I'm, I'm not a tough guy or anything, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, at the end of the day, it's like with the J situation. Mm-hmm. I'm not a tough guy, but it's like, bro, you try to pull up my address. It's like, bro, I'm going to do anything to defend my family. Of course. At the end of the day, I'm going to do anything to defend myself in a life or death situation. Mm. I'm not a tough guy, but I'm not a bitch. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, yeah, that's what that is. Wow. Wow. That is a quotable from Dave Blunt. I'm not a tough guy, but I'm not a bitch. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Actually beautiful. Um, wow. Okay. I mean, how do you, okay, we're going to slide into the, I guess, the side of rap cap and lying okay. in the raps. How okay. do you feel... How do you feel about that? Do you feel like this is like an expression thing? Like you could talk about murdering people or, 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 or talk about, you know, knuckling up, talk about keeping a pipe? I really will, though. That, that's, a, that's what I just said, bro. I'm not a tough guy, but I'm not a bitch. Mm-hmm. It's like in today's society, bro, unfortunately, the way that it is, niggas are not fighting anymore. Niggas are shooting and niggas are dying. So you either get with the times or you get or you become the times. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, it's like at the end of the day, bro, like. Yeah, man, I, I'm not a bitch. I'm not rap cap, and it's like, bro, if I'm in a life or death situation, I'm gonna choose life every time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do to get home to my family. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to protect my family, my friends, without saying too much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm incriminating myself, you but don't want to yeah. incriminate yourself. That's the last yeah. It's thing like I'm not a bitch. I'm not going for none of that shit. So yeah, I'm not a bitch. I'm not going for none of that shit. I'm not lacking none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Never so yeah, I'm, I'm always I make sure I'm protected at all times. Do you feel like that's yeah. a that's an issue in 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 the spot that you're from in, in in Iowa? Is that like a level of like is it how dangerous do you would you describe Iowa as? Okay, so this is it's 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 kind of complicated because it's like it just depends on if you're in the mix or not. Mm, okay. So like at one point in time, I was in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So it's like at that time, was it dangerous? Yeah. 
But at the end of the day, there's been a lot of niggas from my uh, city who unfortunately have been killed because they got some sort of money or because they fuck somebody's bitch mm-hmm. or like they're known for like whatever. They just have some sort of like hood fame mm-hmm. and they've been killed because of that shit. Wow. So it's like the hood in Iowa. Yeah, yeah, bro. I mean, it, it sounds crazy, but this shit goes down. Like, you know, there's gangs there and shit like yeah, that. There's deep layers to it. Yeah, yeah, there is. And it's like, uh, so do I think that it's it's dangerous necessarily? It really just depends, man. I mean, there there is crime there. You know, there's crime everywhere. There's gangs everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's like, it just depends on, like, bro, if you just do your own shit, you know, try not to fuck anybody's bitch and you're chilling. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a, this is a very common thing. Is this a common thing in Iowa that people are getting their bitch took? Yeah. Yeah. No, all these bitches like in where I live, these bitches are fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, for real, like dead ass, bro. <laughs> like this shit is not a game. No. Like it's not, these bitches are fucking, <laughs> I can say that. I can say that. Right. I don't know, Jay. All right. I have no clue anymore, man. <laughs> okay. Real spill. I have no clue anymore, man. Oh, my God. If you got a problem with it, please D- uh, please email Dave Blunt's management at gmail.com if you have an issue with what he said. But it's, it's real, man. So it's like, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, like, I already want to move out of my city because I already know that. Shit, before the rap, there was already somewhat of a target on my back. But now, even more, it's like, bro, I, I'm still a broke-ass nigga, bro. Mm. I'm still in the trenches. But it's like, niggas see me on these platforms, like, oh, he must got money. Yeah. So it's like, that already puts an extra target on my back. I ain't got shit. Mm. You know, I came to L.A. with two pennies that I'm rubbing together. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so so it's like, shit. okay. yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's like, uh, so yeah, man. Uh, Yeah, it's like, it, it could be dangerous, but it's like, if you move the correct way, You'll be alright. No, I feel you. I feel like that's a, right. that's a lot with just real life. If you just move the correct way, you know things yeah. are just gonna fall into place. But um, okay, yeah, no, I mean uh, that is definitely something that I needed to know about Iowa. I, I didn't know that <laughs> it gets down over there. Yeah, they There's do some they, crazy shit that goes some, down in Iowa. They don't fuck around sometimes. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Wow, man. I mean, um, fuck, man. I feel like I think one of the close to the last things that I want to ask you about is just like, you know, internet presence and just being on the internet. How did you, Dave Blunts, introduce yourself to this ethos of people that you could expose your, your music to? I feel like the first thing that I've heard was uh, internationally you were known. <laughs> this, is, this, is not a, this is not just a United States thing. <laughs> Everyone in the world knows who Dave Blunts is. I mean, yeah, bro. I've been going... <clears throat> uh, I've been going viral since I was like... 15 so mm. I mean this shit really ain't nothing new to me this is the biggest it's ever been but like it's always been like little shit mm. like I was in a PewDiePie video one time I was like what? 18 yeah 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 what the fuck you yeah, were yeah real spill yeah 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 you were in a PewDiePie video yeah yeah I just seen that shit randomly people what were just were, like what, what was that little series he used to do where he used to where he used to look at viral shit what was yeah that it was called? like it was like meme review yeah, yeah. meme review okay yeah. so you were in a meme review yeah 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 okay so what was what was the what was the meme it was just a picture of me with like glasses and I was like looking down under the glass like over the glasses and shit mm-hmm. I don't know I just used to like I used to go viral just for posting pictures of me. Like, people would just see that and, like, and yeah, think it was yeah. funny. I wasn't trying to be funny. Yeah. It was just pictures of me and people were like, Seems this like is evil. funny. Yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. looking evil. Yeah. Well. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Damn. Wow, meme review. I never I never would have expected you to be in a, in a PewDiePie video. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Um, But uh, I started going, like, around, like, 2018. I started going viral, like... For my music, like in Mexico, like it was just strictly people in Mexico listening to my music. Really? Yeah. Were and you? Were, was there a specific reason why you were going viral? I can't, bro. I can fucking tell you. Okay. I, I have no idea. You were just going crazy over there. Yeah, yeah. They they just were fucking with my shit, and like for, I mean, ever since that was like my whole target audience mm-hmm. for a long ass time. Wow. For at least five years, from like 2018 to probably like 2023. It's like that was the main, that was my main like listeners were people in Mexico mm. that spoke Spanish. Now, I don't speak Spanish. Mm. I don't make Spanish music. Nope. Uh, and I'm, I asked them, I would always, I'm like, yo, why are you guys like, what attracts you to my music? They're like, bro, we can't understand it, but it just, it sounds good. So we listen to it. See, so really, is- I'm on some like reverse bad bunny shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real spell. 
Yo, reverse bad money might be the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. You know, because like people over yes, here, they listen yes, to bad money, I you know, heard, they can't understand I, I, I them. Have but heard, yeah. I've heard I've heard Caucasian women repeat back an entire bad money song and not know it, it, at all what he's saying. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. But on behalf of the Latino community, Dave Blunt, we fuck with you. Real yeah, spill. Hell yeah. Real spill. Bad. Um Wow, man. So this is this is early twenty eighteen. So moving into moving into the, the more modern years. Uh, would you say that, uh, I mean, you were, you were big in the Fortnite, uh, community. I mean, I guess, was it something that was, uh, first before music or was that after, uh, the whole music was going crazy? I mean, bro, I just, that's my pastime. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just what I do to so fuck around. Like all my friends, bro. So the thing about me and my friends is a lot of shit that like <laughs> niggas do in their twenties, like go clubbing and shit like that. Me and my friends are doing that at like 16, 17. So, like, bro, my town, the people in my town are fucking stupid. So, like, there would be, like, bouncers at the club. We were 16, bro. And they would be like, you guys are 21, right? And we'd be like, yeah. All right, come on in. Not checking IDs or anything. So, bro, me and my friends, we'd be in the clubs at, like, 16, 17, bro. Boy. Talking to, like, grown bitches. Yeah, bro. Just, like, in there chilling, bro. Like, Holy like God. for real. Like, we do that shit on the weekends, bro. Go to school on fucking Monday. Mm. Like, yeah, we're like, that shit was crazy. So we got, we did a bunch of crazy ass shit, bro. Like parties, drinking, all that shit before the age of even 18. So all my friends now, we're 20, you know, I'm 23. They're around my age. They're, we're like old men, bro. Like mm. everybody I know, all my friends, they have full-time jobs. They have kids. Like they got all that shit out of their system. And now they're living like a retired life now you know what i'm saying so the only way i get to see these niggas is by like playing the game with them like that's how me and my friends connect it, wow. like they get off a long ass shift and they're just like bro i'm too tired to hang out let's just fucking play the game <laughs> and i'm like all right so, shit so that's what, yeah. birthed, that's what boy, birthed your love for fortnite yeah yeah okay. i just yeah i just get on there to fuck around yeah. really yeah, yeah but yeah okay damn bro yeah super five i mean shit man we're getting to this close Ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate all of you pulling up for Dave Blunt's Real Spill episode two, The Paint and Sip. I think it's now time for the big reveal. <laughs> I think it's now time for the big reveal to show everybody my take on Abigail and <sighs> Dave's take on Julian. So grab your painting, Mr. Blunt's. Okay. And we're going to reveal on the count of three. All right. Ready. Three, two, one. Now this yeah, is really accurate. I'm actually just so happy that because I saw I, I saw a TikTok. Oh, sorry, I saw <laughs> I saw a comment on your shit on TikTok and it was like it was like I really wonder what Julian looks like, bro. This and is real. Like <laughs> you know you ever see Spy Kids? He looks like Agent Junie Cortez, bro. Like <laughs> like for real. That I I couldn't do the curliness of the hair, but. Agent Jimmy Cortez. Yeah. I tried to draw like a like a strung out character. That is so fucking accurate, bro. I'm not yo, even gonna lie to you. That like shit is, bro. I'm gonna show you a picture of her after this. You can't show nobody. But bro, she, that looks exactly like her, bro. That is. That shit's a spinning image. That is so. That's insane. crazy. Yeah. Oh my. I'm not too good God. at painting. I got him wearing some busted ass Adidas right here, but uh. Holy shit. Yeah, man. man. Uh, he busted yeah. ass Adidas is so wow. It's it's he get the three stripes. <laughs> not too good at painting, man. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, shit's hey, about as accurate as it gets. No one said we were painters. We yeah, just, bro. We just we just be singing in the mics, man. Hell yeah. Oh my god. All right, twitch.tv. Thank you so much for pulling up to Eric DOA Real Spill episode two with Dave Blunt. I just want to say really quickly, Dave has an album coming out very soon. Yes. Dave, when is that coming out? I don't have any date, but it's gonna be here very soon. I promise. I promise very soon. Mm, awesome. Is there anything else you want to tell the people before we leave? Hey man. Leave us uh, with some wisdom, Dave Blunt. Leave us with some, some wisdom. wisdom. Real spill. Um Hey man, uh listen to your mom. You know, she knows what's best. Facts. Listen to your Facts. mom. Facts. Real spill. Real spill. Listen to your mom. Be uh nice don't nice don't mom. do drugs. Don't do drugs. Be nice to your mom. Yes. Dave Blunts, you are an absolute legend. Thank Thanks, you so much man. for pulling up. No problem. Nuts bro. for you. No problem. See one episode three, everybody. It's been Eric Dway. Love you so much. I'll see y'all later. Real spill. Real spill.